Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about enabling control folder access from group policy object. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about enabling control folder access from Windows security app. Whereas in this video, I'm going to showcase you all the options which are related to group policy object creation, which includes adding protected folders, whitelisting application, and then checking logs in the event viewer as well as on MDE portal. Now, before you go ahead and follow each and every step, uh, which I will be showing in this particular video, you must know what is control folder access and how to use control folder access tool. This is something which I have demonstrated in my last video altogether. Now, from prerequisites standpoint, it's same. On the machine, Defender AV service must be running. Your machine must be onboarded to MDE. Real-time protection must be enabled on the machine, as well as all the security updates and patches must be installed on your machine that you're trying to enable for control folder access. Now, from group policy object perspective, these are the options that you need to configure. And let's just assume that you're not getting these options in your environment or let's say on your server. Then the only reason is that the latest admin templates are not being applied or downloaded on that particular server. So just come to this particular URL and get all the latest admin templates deployed. Now for this particular demo, I have a machine, which is my DC, which is ad.conceptswork.com and on that particular DC, a GPO is created, which is Windows Defender ASR. I have a client machine named as ASR Rule, which is domain joined and MDE onboarded. Now, this particular GPO, which is Windows Defender ASR, I will use to enable control folder access, which includes protected folder list and white testing application. And then I will get that applied to my client machine. And then I will be running. CFA tool on this particular machine, which will result in a generating events on the machine as well as on the MDE portal. So this is what I'm going to show you end to end in this particular video. What you see now is one of my servers, uh, the same server, which is ad.conceptswork.com, where I have this group policy object created. And this is the same GPU that I have used in my attack surface reduction rule video as well. Okay. Now this is my OU, which is 0365, where my machine exists, which is ASR hyphen rule. And the group policy object, which is Windows Defender hyphen ASR is also linked to my GPO. So if I go to my group policy management console, and if I click on my OU, you can see the group policy object is already linked. So which means that I only have to go ahead and customize the setting of control folder access. So for that, now I'm inside computer configuration policies, and then I'll go to admin templates, and then I'll go to Windows components. And I will scroll down and search for a folder named as Windows Defender Antivirus. And inside that, you can see I'm getting this folder of Windows Defender Exploit Card. Once again, if at all, you don't get this folder listed here, then all you have to do is you have to go ahead and download the latest admin templates or get the server updated with the latest admin templates. Now, these are the settings which we have to customize to make sure control folder access gets enabled on a domain join machine. But before I go ahead and enable all these settings, let me show you the current state of my device. So this is my machine where I will be enabling control folder access. Now you can see that on this particular machine, even though I'm getting the group policy object, Control folder access is set to disable because obviously this has not been configured from GPO itself. And this is my same machine, which I was showing you in the deck, which is ASR hyphen rule. And on this particular machine, let me just show you that whether sense service is running or not. So you can see this machine is onboarded to MDE as well, which basically means all the prerequisites are met 
for this particular scenario. Now I'll go ahead and customize the settings. The first one is configure allowed applications. Now for this particular setting, you need the actual location of the application that you want to allow to access protected folder. So let's say I want to allow PowerShell. For that, I'll go to my C drive and then I'll go to Windows and then I will go to System32 and then I will search for a folder named as Windows PowerShell and then this particular folder which is v1.0 and this is my exe or this is my application which I want uh, to be allowed to access a uh, protected folder. So I need this location uh, value end-to-end -end, and then I'm going to paste that value in the value name section. Now there is no official documentation available for this particular setting but since I have tested this you should follow the same process and everything will work as expected without any doubt. Just click on apply and OK. Now click on the second option which says configure control folder access and then set it to block mode if you want to get the same experience which I will be showing you in this particular video. The third one is configure protected folder. Now let's say there is a folder which exists in my C drive and which is concepts work and I would like to classify that protect that folder as a protected folder so I'm just going to add that particular location over here and then I'll click on apply and OK. Now once all the settings have been applied I mean you have made all the necessary changes just go ahead and trigger an update for uh, group policy. Since this is a test environment it is just going to take a couple of seconds but it all depends upon the replication time of your environment. It might take up to 15-20 minutes to make sure these settings reach the particular device uh, on which you want control folder access to be enabled. So just to be sure I'm also running GP update space forward slash force on my client machine to make sure all the settings that we have changed just now they are getting applied to my client machine itself. So I'll just close everything and relaunch the same console to make sure we are getting the appropriate settings. So now I'm going to click on Windows Security and then I'm going to click on the first option which is Open Windows Security Application itself, Virus and Threat Protection and then Manage Ransomware Protection. And you can see now it is showing me that this setting is managed by your administrator where control folder access is enabled for me and it is the same machine. Now one more thing which I would like to highlight here and that is this account which is named as enter is actually having local admin privilege on this particular client. So if I click on protected folder I can actually see the list of the configuration which I have done through GPO. But that will not be the case if your account is not having admin privileges. The same concept also applies to the list of trusted applications. Okay, so in order to view CFA configuration on the client, you need admin access. Now the next step is to go ahead and check whether CFA tool is showing us the required result or not. So for that, I'm going to navigate to this particular article where all the files are available, which is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint demonstrations. And here, all the files are available for a specific feature or capability that you want to test, okay? So the ransomware file is also available, which I've showcased already. But for this particular video, I'm going to use CFA tool. And all I have to do is click on this particular link of test tool. Now this will download CFA tool on my machine. Now once I launch this particular tool and if I try to create a file in the protected folder that we have just added in my GPO, the expected behavior is the file should not be created and we should get a prompt on the right hand side bottom of my screen that this, is, this particular action is not allowed. So as you can see in my C drive I have a folder called concepts work which is added as a protected folder but Let's just see if it is created or not. Okay, so there is no folder named as concepts work. So I'll just go ahead and quickly create a folder named as concepts work. And then I'm going to use uh, this CFA tool to create a file with some random extension uh, in this particular folder. And as I've said before, 
the expected behavior is the file will not be created as well as we will get a prompt on the right hand side bottom of the screen uh, by letting us know that this particular action is not allowed or this particular action is being blocked okay so it takes a couple of seconds let's just wait and as you can see i'm getting this particular notification and if i'll open that particular no notification i will get the exact result or a summary of the task that i was trying to achieve which means cfa tool cannot create a file in c concepts work because it is a protected folder and this action is blocked by cfa okay now the next thing is to go ahead and check the same set of information in the event viewer itself and this is something which i've shown in my last video as well so all you have to do is open event viewer and then go to application and service logs and inside this particular folder then you have to go to microsoft and then you have to go to windows and inside this particular folder search for windows defender and then go ahead and check the operations tab or let's say the operations uh, operational log to be very precise for windows defender and you can see i am getting the same set of information which i was getting in the form of a notification on uh, the security uh, app itself okay so the information is practically same here also i'm getting the same set of information now the next step is to go ahead and check the logs on MDE portal inside advanced hunting query section to be very precise. So for that, I'm logged into security.microsoft.com and this is the particular query that I have written, which is device events, action type, control, folder, access, violation, audited and blocked. And as you can see, the second entry is for the same use case that we were trying to achieve. The device is ASR hyphen rule the user was enter command line tool cfa tool was blocked as it was trying to create a file in concepts work folder which is again a protected folder altogether now the same set of information is also available in device timeline and just for your information alerts are not generated for control folder access events so you may have to write an alert rule which i have shown in my cfa video altogether so let's talk about a quick summary. We have discussed about everything that you need to know for group policy object, starting from adding protected folders to whitelisting application and checking logs and event viewer. In the next video, we'll see how to enable CFA from Intune. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.